In this video, we're going to check out Boot Camp Episode 7 for the Hay Packs. We're going to go over chord modes and how to use basic MIDI effects on it. Now, this is just one workflow that you can consider when you're composing. Please make sure, if you have not already, watch the playlist linked in the description below. In order to progress, I don't repeat all the basics in every video, so make sure to watch from the first episode. So I have this to set up to control my Novation circuit off screen. Track 1 and 2 are synth tracks, but I'm not going to use those. Track 3 is set up for drums, and you can see I already have a pattern. And now track 4 is what I'm going to use for synth, my JX03 off camera. Let's press project, and now we can see the scale is on, project scale. So it's just set to C major. Now if I press second and track 4, I can see that project scale is on. That's this knob right here. I also want this to be quantized to 1 16th at a strength of 100. For recording options, just press second and settings. Now we can see recording options. The recording screen has a lot of options, but here we're just going to choose looper auto length in the upper right knob. So this means the recording length will go on until we press record a second time, which will close the loop and begin to play it at the length that we recorded. Make sure you have your blank template file made up so that you can always access your own custom setup. So we're in the step sequencing screen and we can hear that it's triggering the JX03. Now I'm gonna press live and we can see a bunch of red pads. If I press one, you can see it lights up all of these. So those are octaves. So if I go here, it's the higher octave. So right now it's in the project scale, so it's locked to that. Now let's switch over to live chord mode. So I'm gonna hold live and turn. Now we can see two sections here. The upper left are modifiers. Down here we can see all the chords and the key. The side pads here, we have higher, lower octaves. So if I press play, instead of playing it over it like that, I want this to perform with a rhythm. So now what I'm gonna do is press effects. Now we're in a different menu up here. So if we turn this, we can scroll between all the different modifiers. Right here is matrix, but we're not gonna use that right now. Now I already had this set up as Euclid, but it should look like a plus, and you just push in the knob and then you can add something. So I just added an arpeggiator. I can click down, change the order of it by turning it. I can also just click down. I can toggle it, delete it, replace it, copy or paste it. Let's just delete it. Now this I have disabled, so I'm just gonna click in, toggle on. So here I have the settings right here to 1 8th, 16 steps, 16 pulses, and then I turn the gate down. Now I can change these settings if I want to alter it, but for now, let's just see what happens. Now we're just gonna play the chords here. If I press live here, I see play. If I turn this, we can relatch it. It's gonna hold the note, so I can just start, say, with that chord. So let's look into the modifiers. Right here we have all sorts of different pads here. And if I just hold it down, it shows what it is. So octave minus two. If I press play, you can hear it. Now it's not gonna apply it until I press the next chord. So that's octave up, octave up two. Transpose, so it brings it up. I can also hold down different modifiers. And then that'll work. So this is just to transpose different notes. So you can perform things out that way if you want. Now this is spread, spread down. So like that. Now if I want to keep that, hold second and then we can toggle it. Now that's always going to be on. Now, let's just choose an octave up, one octave up. Now I can try a different one, so let's just turn this one on. Let's turn that off. Now down here we have 
through. So I'm going to hold down second. Let's see what that does. Let's turn on the drums. Let's turn on the chroma console. Let's record that end. So I'm going to start with this chord. Let's just enable record. Here we go. Now I'm just going to close the loop by pressing record. All right, so it looks like it didn't put in that first chord, so I have to enter it in. Let's turn off relatch because we want to add that first chord because it was just automatically playing. So let's just record. There it is, it's in. So let's say I want to make a different section. Just press a pattern here. I can go back to live. Now what I want to do, let's change this to power chord with that bass as well. So we can record something different. Press record. Looks like it's going to work. So that's, that works. I'm just going to turn down the cutoff. I'm just doing that manually off camera. Let's switch to the first pattern. On pattern view, I want to set sync to pattern. Because we have different lengths, it might mix it up a little. So let's see what happens here. Let it play again. Now I'm going to press here. So when that pattern's done, then it'll switch. settings on the chroma console and here we go